glycemic load. While the glycemic index measures how fast carbohydrates raise our blood sugar levels, the glycemic load takes into account of both the GI of a food and the amount of carbohydrates per serving. This provides a more accurate measurement of the impact of food on our blood sugar levels. GL similarly uses a scale of 1 to 100, with low being from 0 to 10, medium from 11 to 19, and high from 20 onwards. You can calculate the GL by multiplying the GI with the amount of carbohydrates per serving divided by 100. Let's take brownies as an example. Typically, they have a low GI of around 42. However, with about 63.9 grams of carbohydrates per 100 gram serving, the GL is a high 26.8. This means that when more is consumed, the GL increases, leading to a more rapid rise in blood sugar levels. Did you know? Our Nouveau Joy brownies are not only certified low GI, but it's also low in GL. By understanding both the GI and GL, we can better manage our blood sugar levels and make informed dietary choices.